the experiment is to study the effect of impurity or percent of the impurity on, on melting point. Um, the higher the percentage, the change in melting point or melting point depression is going to be more, more significant. And one specific case that when we get very high percentage of the impurity, the impurity kind of takes over and uh, the melting point is going to be increased. For example, if you were doing the melting point of fluoronone, pure fluoronone is at 84 and melting point of fluoronone with 25% of urea is going to be lower than 84. Fluoronone with 75% of urea, it might show melting point higher than 84 because now urea, which is 75%, is going to act as the actual sample and the 25% of the fluoronone is going to act as impurity. And that's what we are going to, to test now with these uh, samples. I have recorded the, the melting point for pure uh, fluoronone already, and we have the melting point for your uh, urea as well. The three samples that we have is 75% urea, 25% fluoronone, 50% fluoronone, 50% urea, and 25% fluoronone with 75% of the urea. So we are going to, to, to look at the, the difference in the, in the melting point. And I have the samples prepared and let's move on. I'm going to take the 50-50% first and I place it in the uh, melt them. Turn it on. We are going to set it at low because fluoronone melts at 84 with the impurities is going to be even less. So let's do it at less than two. And I will show you a picture when it starts melting or when it is melted completely. Okay. This uh, concludes the uh, experiment for measuring melting point and everything about the melting point. Uh, for the last part of the experiment, you will see the data that when we add 75% um, fluoronone with 25% of urea, that urea acted as impurity. So the melting point was lower than the melting point of fluoronone. The exact numbers, please look at the images to record those numbers. But for 50-50%, uh, we had uh, 
lower melting point to start with for for urea um, and for um, 75 percent uh, urea it was lower than the actual melting point but just the fact that if you go from 25 percent impurity to 50 percent impurity for urea the number decreased and the range was more broad but the exact numbers you will record because they are labeled. Each, each image is going to be um, labeled that um, uh, corresponds to what melting point of which sample. Um, I just want to emphasize on uh, you know, the importance of yeah, reading the lab manual uh, entirely, watching the video carefully, and uh, take the screenshots anytime that is asking to take his screenshots and include that as part of the report. Uh, so we know that, uh, you know, you have watched the video and uh, even though it's not going to feel the same as you were in the lab to perform the experiment yourself, uh, but I try to show you step-by-step step the purpose of the, the experiment and how, the um, experiment is done and uh, the theory behind it uh, for every experiment. It was a brand new experiment, so I had to try and um, I had some you know, uh, repeats, uh, but I really liked the experiment because it covers a lot of uh, aspects of the, um, of the melting point. Uh, but I just hope that this modality helps you um, to uh, with your education, the modality of the, the course, I mean, um, it helps you with your, uh, your education. Good luck and thank you.